Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you had a great day. Just a couple of reminders that on Monday, uh, you can pick up some milk right at the center. Just uh, ring the doorbell and step back and we'll put the milk out and then we'll step back and then you can take your milk, okay? Um, the other thing is just a reminder that the VPK graduation is on Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. If you're someone who was planning to come and cheer the uh, kids on, just remember we are observing social distancing. You must be masked, okay? So that's really important if you decide to come. So tonight's story is called Winter Lullaby. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, but Miss Patty, it's just about summer. Why would you be re reading a book, Winter Lullaby? Well, up north in the Rochester, New York area and Connecticut area where my family lives, both places, it is snowing and they're expecting a big storm. So I thought this book would be perfect. So the story again is Winter Lullaby by Barbara Suling and it's illustrated by Greg Newbald. I love sunflowers, so as you can see, the illustration is beautiful. When the breeze blows the petals off the flowers, where do the bees go? That is a good question. Inside their hives until spring arrives. When the ground turns too cold to sleep on at night, where do the snakes go? Into a den till it's warm again. When white frost creeps across the country meadow, where do the mice go? up to the loft in something soft. When the wind whistles through the evergreen forest, where do the bats go? To caverns deep for a long sleep. When the snow falls over the freshwater pond, where do the ducks go? Across the sky, southward they fly, right here to Florida even. When ice covers the mountain lake like a crust, where do the fish go? They swim below where water, where warm streams flow. So they go deeper into the water. When the cold bites their fingertips and noses, where do people go? Out of the storm where it is warm. And that's where I hope all our friends and family up in New York and Connecticut are going in out of the storm and into where it is warm. I hope you all have a great weekend. Do something fun together. The weather is beautiful, so hopefully you'll get to go to the beach or take a swim. But just be safe out there, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!